Like if I'm ever wearing a white t-shirt and then I'm about to eat food, I put something black over top. Is there anyone, anyone else that's like that? Like <laughs> So I've actually been wanting to do this updated version video for a while. I actually have this bag that's filled with like some shirts that I haven't looked at. I don't know what's in them yet. Uh, there's like a couple of shirts in here that I wanted to do like an unre unboxing, unraveling, whatever, unpackaging. And so yeah, stay tuned. I will be doing that at the very, very end. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Vegan Living 24-7. I thought I would do another, um, basically like an updated video on my clothing haul uh, of, of like all the vegan um, t-shirts, sweaters. Uh, there's even a couple like little grocery bags, totes, whatever you call them, uh, in here. And uh, basically my, my last video is one of my top five videos. I never really would have thought that that would have been one of my top five videos, but uh yeah, it is. So I'm going to update because I have way more <laughs> than I used to when I had made the video like two or three years ago. Um, basically what's back here is the stuff that I had put in my last video. So I'll make sure to link that down below. Um, this one's one of my favorites from that. So if you're interested in knowing where those come from and hearing a little bit about them, uh, make sure to go and look at that video. This is from Thailand when I visited Elephant Nature Park. Uh, so I'll just show this stuff quick because these are actually dirty and I just want to get them off the bed. <laughs> I volunteer at a farm sanctuary called, called Farm Animal Rescue and Rehoming Movement. So that's two R's uh, when you spell the, out the word farm. Uh, so this is Daisy. Unfortunately, she has passed away uh, when they had their barn fire last year. Um, and for those of you that live in Alberta, you might have also heard that she was the goat that had been kidnapped. So yeah, she was blind and special needs and like some curls had pecked out her eyes as well as her tongue. So like she couldn't even like eat her food properly. Like she would regurgitate up the grass a bit. Like I remember one time thinking it was really gross. There was like this green sledge that was coming out of her mouth and I was like, ew. And then someone just told me. Oh no, 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 that's normal. Like that's, yeah. And then this is also from Farm. It's got a bit of paint on it. So yeah, this is their logo. It's got a bit of paint on it because of an event that I had done um, at their, at Farm, like last summer. This was from the Groovy Vegan. This was, this is one of my favorite uh, tank tops. Um, yeah, living on the bed is really fun. So the Groovy Vegan is no longer in business. They have a couple of children and they had to like just kind of close up shop. I don't know. I have heard that it's hard to have a clothing business, that it doesn't sell super well. Like with Farm, they have like said that it can be a little bit hard to sell the products. You just have all this excess shirts and stuff because people want specific styles, specific sizes, specific colors. You know, it's, it's, it ends up being a lot of work. I have contemplated before having um creating my own but I kind of feel at the same time that maybe I don't know I have a lot <laughs> and also it's not super environmentally friendly to buy a t-shirt um a piece of clothing especially brand new because um well um, brand new yeah because of like the process of like how how to like create the shirt and then print on it and stuff like that like it's actually not that environmentally friendly so I think it'd be kind of cool to pick up like some secondhand shirts and then just like printing my own stuff that I've created onto it. I don't know if it would be feasible to create that as like something to sell to people because again then I'd have like all this excess to try to sell. But anyways that's for another video. It's just something that's been like playing around in my head for a few years. Okay so where am I going to start? I was thinking I could start with like the farm sanctuary type stuff. Um, so there's three large farm sanctuaries here in Alberta, the province I live. Um, one of them is Robin's Refuge. They're one of the smaller ones. But this one says, uh, my favorite animal is every animal. Super cute. So I got that from one of the Calgary Veg Fests. They are located just outside of Calgary. And I've actually done a video out there where I interviewed Julia. She's 
super sweet. Um, and the animals there are so lovely. And then this was from the Alice Sanctuary. I only visited them, unfortunately, when they were doing like a really big event. I would suggest going when you're just like visiting with the animals, like uh, scheduling a tour, basically. So then you could actually be with the animals. She didn't want to make it like a petting zoo, obviously. And since there's so many people there, like you weren't allowed to touch the animals. And I was like, oh, but I so badly want to. There's this donkey literally came up to the fence, you guys, and I was like, okay, that donkey obviously wants to be petted or fed or something, you know? Uh, so yeah, I got this. What is it even? The Alice Sanctuary Kindness, Compassion, Love. I guess this little piggy is one of their piggies that's there. I don't know what his name is. I'm pretty sure it was a boy. Uh, and then my other farm. I just don't know if I came across it, to be honest. I have another farm one. It's like um, the outline of a pig and then there's a bunch of different animals within it. I think there's like 12 animals within it that I guess um, when she had first started some of them were ones that I hadn't ever met. But anyways, yeah. Uh, and then these ones are new ones from farm. I don't know if by the time I upload this video if they will be available for sale but I was uh, they got the the, some of the volunteers to model like the ones that were interested in modeling so we got to model these designs and I couldn't decide on the color so I got like two of them because this green is really pretty so it says be kind to every kind yeah to all kinds this is the color that I modeled <laughs> and then I got another hoodie of course I'm sure lots of you have seen this so I don't really feel like I need to blab on about anonymous for the voiceless Ooh, my friend Sean bought me this for my birthday. I think I might have got spaghetti sauce on it. Oh, I don't really notice it, so that's cool. So it says, don't eat my peeps, go veg. It's so cute, isn't it? Look at that. So this is for Mercy Fan for animals. It's a nice fabric, lovely color. I actually really like mint green, so I was super pleased with this purchase. Like, um, a lot of times when people buy you clothing and stuff like that, I don't think that they really know what your favorite colors are and stuff, and I, he probably didn't know, but that's one of my favorite colors to wear for clothing. Um, I just think that mint green is such a lovely color. Uh, I also got this elephant. Oh, I didn't look through here to see if there was anything else for my vegan clothing. I kind of I call like things that have like elephants and stuff like that, I consider it to be vegan, sort of, but it's not really. So I guess it's okay that it's not technically in this video. So this was from Cheap Lazy Vegan. She, um, every now and then she will, she's another YouTuber, she, every now and then she will just like do, excuse me, a vegan t-shirt design and just sell it for a little while. I think that's probably the best thing to do, honestly, is just to have a limited supply. Be like, yo, when it's gone, it's gone. That way you don't have to have like this huge collection <laughs> like taking up space in your house and then you can rotate through different ideas so this one says savage beast because they own a cafe her and her mom it's called savage um savage yeah so so it's savage beast uh yeah i like to wear it especially when i'm like um working out because i'm like yeah i'm savage Woo <laughs> like i'm working out hard not really uh I got this one when I was in Japan. So it says nofur.org. I got it from like, uh, I was hanging, I went, when I go to like different countries, I like to try to search to see if there's some sort of animal rights event happening. And there was, there was something to where they were protesting about like chickens in cages, battery, for your, like, battery cages, um, because that's huge there in Japan because I mean, it's such a small, countries of course and then like chickens is something that's like one of the biggest eaten like meats there I think uh yeah anyways so I was part of that and then I went and like hung out with them in their headquarters it was kind of neat um yeah oh and while we're on that topic I'll just show you this I also got this I wish I said I love vegans with an s at the end it says I love vegan on the front but the reason why mostly that I had bought this is the back. It's so pretty. It says love animals. It's got little animals with the wings like liberating them but it also kind of makes me think morbidly that they've died. Um, yeah animal liberation. I love it. Um, it doesn't have a drawstring in it which is kind of 
beard, but it's not like, I don't really actually use drawstrings in my hoodies. So for that company that had said Groovy Vegan that they had closed down, um, I'll just show you guys this. This is one of my favorite ones from them. I just think this, they had like such creative design. So I kind of hope that maybe someday they might come back. Who knows? And maybe they can do like what some people do where you just rotate through and you just have like a couple designs. Limited time <laughs> until you sell out. And then there's this one. Why can't we be friends? I've definitely worn this on this channel. Uh, and then when I modeled for them, I got some, I got paid, plus they had sent us a box of swag. So I had this, what does, I just saved a ton on my carbon footprint by switching to vegan. And then it's got a little cool logo, like cool print. It's like, kind of it's hard to see, but it's got a footprint. And then in the background of the footprint, it's got all these like vegetables. It's, it's really neat. This says cruelty free beauty is our duty. I don't actually wear my white t-shirts too often because I'm kind of a slob. Like the comment that I made with, um, I was like, did I get spaghetti on this? Cause I didn't see it on it. But yeah, um, I usually always like stain it. Like if I'm ever wearing a white t-shirt and then I'm about to eat food, I put something black over top. Is anyone, anyone else that's like that? Like, oh my goodness. I think white looks nice on me, but um, I just get scared wearing it. Uh, yeah, and then this one, I really like this one too. It says, break the chains. So I would wear this one while I was working out sometimes too. But it's basically about breaking, which, breaking like cows free from... You know what, I, I can't actually explain it. <laughs> I'm just gonna move on. Um, but this clothing company here, uh, they're still in operation so this is Emily from Vegan Veins. I'm friends with her. This is one of my favorite shirts and I'm actually wearing my other favorite shirt of hers. So it says someone not something so it's about animal testing. I love bunnies so much. I love animals just in general um, but bunnies is definitely one of the, my favorites and yeah anyways there's like actually a rabbit like hanging out in my backyard right now and I like took a bunch of pictures and posted on Instagram like yeah I just I'm so obsessed and it's got this fluffy tail it's so cute anyways this is my other favorite shirt from the I just love this color I love maroon and then like up close you can see like different texture ish like there's almost like a blue tinge within it I don't know it's cool but I love the color and then I love this liberation for all it's just so pretty um yeah so I, I really in particularly love getting vegan shirts that have like really cool designs that are very creative and like not the same like standard thing where you see like the chicken over top of the pig over top of the cow I think like that's just very standard and you see that like I don't I might have one of those shirts I don't know oh, and then there's this one captivity is cruel so uh, I did a post on one of my instagrams about this because like while we're in quarantine right now um or lockdown or whatever because of this pandemic you know we're kind of like all feel the same like emotions and thoughts of like someone that's in captivity but fortunately for us we can still go outside and go for a walk we just have to keep our distance from pe other people and like there's gonna be a time where this is of the past you know like it's not gonna be our everyday thing whereas there are some animals that are like in a zoo in a circus um, in our food industries in our like testing for like ugh, it pisses me off that we test on animals but anyways just like all these different systems that where humans think oh we're better than all the other species so we can do this just because we can do something that's what we should um, so yeah, anyways, I <laughs> made a kind of lengthy post about that. Um, and then I think I've got two of this one. I accidentally bought two. Until every cage is empty. I love the bird at the bottom with the wing spread. That's so beautiful. So yeah, like I said, I just really love the designs on the, on, uh, vegan veins. Uh, yeah, so this is the same one. Um, eat figs, not pigs. <laughs> super cute. I got this one in a hoodie too actually. Uh, right here. And again in that like nice red. Um, so this, I love this hoodie. 
Uh, you can get some of her products in organic cotton, so feel free to like reach out to her. She has like an Etsy account and feel free to reach out to her. She lives in BC. I don't know if it's Simon Arm, if she's moved or not, but anyways. Um, so it's pretty close to Alberta, so it's not too far for shipping and stuff. And yeah, you can always ask her to create something in a different color. So I picked a blue that I thought was nice. And I did the Liberation for All in this. It wasn't like when you go to this as a sweater for this design, you it, they didn't have the blue as an option. It was in another one, but she had stated in one of her posts that she doesn't mind if someone like reaches out and asks for that. I think it took a little bit longer to get this one because of that. And then this is kind of like the cliche um, that you do see on a lot of things, but I do like it. Oh my god, it's so soft too. It's uh, not your mom, not your milk. Apparently this was her very first design too. It's super cute and I think you can get it in other colors like blue and stuff like that, but I just love the black. It just, uh, it just stands out very nicely. Um, so that's all from Vegan Veins. Plus, like I said, I got two totes. She also has like stickers and I don't know if she does pins or not. And one other thing that I had forgot to show when I was talking about farm sanctuaries is Cooper from Farm, Farm Animal Rescue and Rehoming Movement. Um, <laughs> it says things like, ugh, just ugh, and oops. Because <laughs> like, um, you should definitely follow Farm on Facebook and Instagram. I'll mention a link them down below. But it's just so funny. Like they make him be out to be like this little asshole. <laughs> Uh, this little mischievous troublemaker. When he was young, he totally was. I used to have to like pull him out of like the feed room all the time when I was volunteering. But now Richard is like basically the new version of Cooper. He's younger, so he's like a little bit more spry. Whereas Cooper, he's like not as into doing all that kind of stuff, and he's also not as into like getting pets and stuff. He kind of like runs away when I try to pet him. Now I'm like, he just wants to be left alone. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if the other volunteers have like the same thing going on for them. Ooh, I'm almost done. So I just got this. So this was when I first started buying clothing. Um, so I was, was, I try to buy from places where I feel like they're being a little bit more ethical with um, where, the, where the funding's gonna be going. And now I'd like to also consider ones that are like, I feel like are more ethical with like where they're sourcing the materials from too. Uh, but yeah, this one, so I feel like it's from like Zazzle or something, some like random website. You have a choice, they don't. Just kind of gets people thinking. So I've worn that a few times. And I believe this was also from there. I just really like it. It says, uh, dog lovers don't eat dogs, dog cat lovers don't eat cats. And then at the bottom it says, animal lovers don't eat animals. I just think it's a really good message, good like form of activism. And it's up to you. This is what Jeff had purchased me. Oh, say something on the bottom? Oh, it's up to us. So it's basically about like global warming. So you can see this poor sad little bear. I actually haven't worn this a whole lot. I think Jeff like commented on that once. He's like, you like never wear this shirt. I'm like, I'm sorry. I think in part it's because the bear looks so sad. Um, but anyways, I'll, I'll make a point of wearing it more. I got this from uh, Las Vegas Veg Fest. So it's like an animal care thingy. Does it say it on it? It says Compassion Works International. Yeah, so this is like the heart is actually out of their tusks. Like it, it's not actually out of their tusks, but like it's to represent the tusks that uh, humans poach. Uh, they're such magnificent, magnificent, beautiful animals. Did you know that they're like prints when they're like walking in the wild um will actually serve as like a trough for smaller animals for when it rains so cool mm. anyways fun facts i think this one was also it's this one's from calgary veg fest actually <laughs> i made like a little rock like rock art painting with similar wording biggie biggie wink wink <laughs> uh yeah and it's got like that kind of racer back type backing i really love that kind of backing i think i got this one also from Veg Fest from the Las Vegas Pig Hugger. I like wearing this one. The colors are nice. It stands out really nice. Oh, I got this in Calgary at, what is that clothing store called? There's like a vegan clothing store there. 
it's a little bit too big either that or no I got this from Vegas but there's there is a clothing store in Calgary Calgary Alberta the province I live in I live in Edmonton so it says show somebody you care mm -hmm. choose cruelty free so cute so it is a little bit big but so sometimes I'll like do the little tie up but I've also gained a little bit of weight so um, it probably would fit me a little bit better now and again this is one of those these last three here are like the clothing I also have a baggie that I'm gonna <laughs> of like new stuff that I'm gonna do that's part of the reason why I'm doing this video um yeah it's just like an elephant so it's not like technically vegan and then this one I like wearing this one with my because he's got uh does he have wings no but he looks like a pilot right he looks like he's off to flying um and I got this flying picky so I like to wear those together so I basically always wear this necklace now and and then there's this like fox it's just like animal stuff right and yeah here is the theme that I've been waiting for the end I've actually bought this in 2018 you guys like so two years ago so it says uh 3 5 2018 so I don't know if that's March 5th or May 3rd but anyways I know that there's one in here that is of like protein and then less protein but other than that I have no idea what's in here so again this is one of those things that are from like some random it says everything vegan uh, maybe it is a vegan company I don't really know there's some like companies that you have to be careful with online that like claim that they're like this vegan company and you th you think that maybe the stuff is going to something good but it's not really oh there's only two in here I thought that there was gonna be more <laughs> anyways so it says the earth is here for all of us, not some of us. Oh, that's nice. I totally agree with that message. Um, and yeah, here's the protein one, and it's yellow. It's all like nice. How do vegans get protein? Nice. And this racer back. This is a nice yellow, actually. Boop. So yeah, this is my full-on humongous vegan haul and also I have <laughs> I know you're just like what um ordered from the UK there's like this they do like a vegan camp out uh, and obviously they're not gonna well actually they're going to they're planning on doing it this year because it's at the end of August so they still think that they'll be able to have go ahead and do it um so they haven't sent it out to me and they said like if I come then I can pick it up there and if not then message them and they'll send it to me so I've already paid for it but it just says vegan camp out on the back and it's actually like a jacket I really wish that most of my hoodie things were jackets because I totally prefer being able to unzip I don't like wearing hoodies that much to be honest like um for very long periods of time because I always just want to like I start to get too warm and I want to take it off but with a jacket you can just unzip it and then you feel a little bit cooler I don't know <laughs> if anyone else feels that way. It's just like these animals around a campfire um, in a tent in the background. It's really cute. This is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will try to link down below the different um, places that you can purchase these items. Hope everyone's doing okay during this pandemic. Uh, I did state in a recent video. I don't know which order I'm going to be uploading things, but that my mental health has been up and down and all over the place with this pandemic. Um, but today is a good day, except that it took me forever to find my little stand. I decided to put it in a more organized spot. I put it next to stuff that like I use for like YouTubing and, or plan on using for YouTubing and I just didn't think to look there. <laughs> so I was super frustrated and I was just in the middle of like carrying a bunch of books over here because I was just going to stack my phone up onto the books to like record. Anyways, yep. Um, so today I guess I'll just like edit a video as the plan and maybe do some shopping, cleaning, paint. I want to paint some rocks for farm, um, paint some cactuses and like maybe some avocados. They're going to be selling like plants and uh, that kind of stuff. They're actually already in the middle of doing that so make sure to go support them because a lot of like farm sanctuaries are having to do online type stuff now because like we can't have people come over to do events uh, I saw another farm sanctuary is doing yoga but they're like super limiting the amount of people that can come out like 10 like the Alice sanctuary is doing some yoga events still just keeping everybody like 
away from each other. So yeah, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Um, I'll see you in my next one. Veg, peace and love. Till next time. Bye.